Let's talk about the news today. Michael Cohen is now said that he's not going to testify. Why is it important for him if he's already talking to Robert Mueller and has said publicly that he didn't have that much to tell if he did publicly testify? Well, he, he has a lot to tell. There are a lot of issues that he spoke to our committee about already, but he spoke falsely, testified falsely before our committee. And our committee has a deep interest, I think, a need to know of all of his testimony, which parts were true, which parts were untrue, who knew that he was going to testify falsely, uh, why did he testify falsely, and what more light can he shed on these issues of central concern to us. Why is he now suddenly refusing to come talk? Well, uh, I think he's genuinely scared. The president has essentially said that his father-in-law should be investigated. Uh, Rudy Giuliani has said that his father-in-law should be investigated. And that looks like plain and simple witness intimidation. Uh, these are tactics you would expect from the mafia, not from the president of the United States. It's also exactly the sort of intimidation that Michael Cohen used to use against people that were trying to get at Donald Trump when he was his lawyer, right? Oh, there's, there's no shortage of ironies here. But you have the power to subpoena him now, right? To your committee. He's going to testify before our committee. He is. He is. Uh, we'd like him to come back voluntarily, but um, we will subpoena him if necessary. Uh, but one way or the other, he will be testifying before our committee.